21 years ago, we heard the promise of God to the people of our church to bless them and grow them and to expand in the numbers of people we reach. Here are some personal stories that highlight this journey of promise. King, and I am the director of Centerville Free Dining Room and have been doing this for 23 years. We feed on the average of 250 people each week and those people eat 455 meals. There is no restriction on how much food they can eat because we know they are hungry. We are blessed to have so many people in the community who donate food for the people to take home. We give them breakfast food such as donuts and pastry and muffins. And we give them bread, fresh fruit, desserts, and other things that we get from the stores that are not perishable. We love the people who come here and we make things comfortable for them so they feel like this is home, this is a family. They are delighted to have people who care about them, and that's one of the most important things. They are our love, they're the love of our lives, and we are grateful to be able to do this every Tuesday and Thursday from 4 until 6 p.m., and we look forward to doing this as long as the Lord wants us to. I've been a member of Cerro Presbyterian Church for about uh, 60 years. I joined the church at the Little White Church in uh, Fremont Boulevard. This uh, free dining has support of the whole community. It's it really uh, outstanding. It, uh, it's not just local, but you have other churches and other sects uh, of religion that do it. It, it really uh, is something to see a community coming together. What I enjoy about free dining is the substance that people are getting coming uh, on Tuesday and Thursday for uh, the food and the products that we have from uh, Vienna Bakery and Safeway and Costco to help uh, the people. So everybody's involved in it. This is Centerville Free Dining and Free Gifts Place and we're here from the church. We are from the deacons and we're from volunteers that join with us in uh, giving out uh, to the poor, the hungry, the homeless, and whatever. We have trousers, all clean. They have to be clean before they come in here. We have blankets, and then we have here canned goods so that people can load up with uh, all kinds of delicious canned food. We have baby things for babies. Uh, when we first started here, we had some criticism that we were here just to do evangelism. And so I was asked at the city council, are you going to pray with them? So I said, if they ask me. And so we have lots and lots of people that we don't even ask, but they asked us, would you pray with me? Should I turn them down? <laughs> you have the answer. 